Now the goal of this boot camp is to get you comfortable in Excel and make you faster in Excel. So I want to show you some things in autofill and some of the shortcut keys. And they're going to make things a little bit better. I'll try not to put too many in at once. But let's just say I want to count from 1 to 30 for whatever reason. So rather than typing 1, 2, 3, and on down, if I just type 1 and 2, Excel knows I have a pattern there. So I make this white cross into a black cross. That's called the drag handle. So if this, take this drag handle, uh, left click with my mouse, and drag this down as far as I want to go. Let's say I want to go to 30 for whatever random reason. There I am at 30. The fastest way to get back up to the top of the page is control and up. Control arrow keys help you move faster. You can play around with those. Now if I go control and down arrow key, it stops at 30. Control down again, it goes all the way to the bottom. So it either stops at an edge or when the data runs out. Well, what you notice here is if I'm down here to 30, I can't tell what's in the column heading. So that's not good. I need to know what's in that column heading. And I can do that a couple of ways. I can go to the view and I can look at freeze panes. Freeze panes, I can freeze the top row or I can freeze selected panes. So I'll just pick one of these rows, just a few down. I'll say I want to freeze the panes at that point. And now as I scroll down, the top four rows remain visible. And when I get to the bottom, I can tell exactly what that is. Alright, so if I want to get back to the full view, see here I have rows 1 through 4 and then 19 forward. So if I want to see, you know, 5 to 18, I just go to row 4, down arrow key once, and it all shows up. So this is just counting 1, 2, 3, 4. I can also do um, some other pattern, like I have 3 and 6, and I can drag that down as well. And Excel is going to recognize that I'm counting by 3s, and you can see as I do this, it counts up. You know, between 14 and 27 on up to, to where I am there. So I can drag that down or because there is data in the left hand column I can just double click. So with the left mouse double click and Excel when it sees that double click it says alright I know you want to fill in that pattern or whatever it happens to be until data ends in the column to the left. So it's always going to stop there in the column to the left. And there's something blank in row 32 column B so it stops in row 31. I can also do growth. If I don't want to count by three, six, you know, count by threes, I can say three, six, and I can make this into a growth pattern. I right click on the mouse, get this drag handle, right click on the mouse, which on laptops can be difficult to do occasionally because uh, just dealing with a mouse on a laptop can be hard. So I can drag this down all the way to here. I'm not double clicking because I want to get to the bottom here. And I can choose a growth trend or a linear trend. If I do a growth trend, it's going to pick the trend that it thinks I want. You know, 3, 6, 12, 24. See how it's doubling every time. And it just continues with that. I can also do things like month. I can do January. Uh, and it knows when I say January that I want February, March, so forth. So I can drag this. If I don't want to drag it, I can double click it. And it fills in in just, you know, the 12 months. I can also do this with abbreviations if I don't want the full title, the full name. Uh, same thing with the days. I can do Sunday. I have to spell Sunday correctly. And I can do the abbreviation S-U-N. I can take both of these columns, double click. And with both columns at once, you know, the full name of the day and, and the abbreviation. There are other things in there. There's like the quarter. I have first quarter because this is built, you know, for business primarily. First quarter, and I double click that, and it's going to go first quarter, second quarter, fourth, first, second, third, fourth, and so forth like that. I can also do, if I want just weekdays, I can type in Monday, and I can drag this down with the right clicking on the mouse, drag this all the way down. And you see it gives me fill days, which will give me every day of the week, or just fill weekdays. And I'm just filling with weekdays. There's no Saturday, no Sunday. Okay, so all those are built into Excel. Now let me show you a couple of things that are not built into Excel. Let's say that we're working, and I'll scroll over here, with certain cities. Um, we are active in these cities. And so a lot of times when I'm filling out and making different spreadsheets, I always have Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Dallas. Rather than having to retype every time, Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver. 
what I can do is I can go to file and I can go to options and under this I can go to advanced and under advanced and this is all 2013 if you have an earlier version it's, it's all there most likely uh, everything I'm going to do but it's just in different places which can be frustrating so now we go down and find where it says edit custom list alright so this is something that's really pretty neat edit custom list and I already have these in there so let me just delete them as if they were not there because I forgot to delete them okay so now they're not there it's like I've never done it before um, I can pick right here and I will say that I want to choose um, these cities okay now that I've chosen those cities I import them there's the list if you have a comma in Washington DC it's going to mess it up just a little bit and I add that click OK click OK and now I come back over here for the cities I type Atlanta once again spell it correctly I don't want to fill this up a bunch. I'm just going to drag it down to my last one, which was Washington, D.C. And I knew to select those cities because I told it those particular cities. Same thing with the colleges. Here are some colleges I selected from Georgia. So I go here, File, Options, doing the exact same thing again, going to Advanced, scrolling down, scrolling down to you see Edit Custom List. So this is under you know, general and web options here. Edit custom list. And I want to pick these colleges, import them, add. And my computer's been giving me a little bit of trouble here. So it's not adding them right away. I apologize for pausing there. I had a little trouble with the computer, which reminds me. Um, I uh, messed that up. Let's do this again. You need to save things frequently just in case your computer crashes for whatever reason. So as you're doing things very frequently, add them. I mean, save the file. So now we have those colleges in there. I just type Georgia State and make sure I spell it right, University. Now when I have that, I can drag this down, and there I have them. I can do the same thing for the car. So I know this is a little repetitive, but repetition is going to be important for this. Uh, advanced, just dragging down and find that custom list. And sorry, I want to import these different types of Ford cars. Import that. Add. OK. Okay, we got it, and now I can type Fiesta and drag that down and have them. Now, if you want to do the states, that's not possible because we are limited to 255 characters. So we can only have 255 characters when we do this, so I can't add all 50 states. All right, so now I'll take a break with this video and stop right there, but that is the basics of autofill. The next thing we're going to do is some more assignments um, from this spreadsheet.